Okay, so in this video, we're going to be dealing with AppLovin and Unity. We're going to be adding AppLovin ads into Unity. Um, you must have Unity 2017 plus, so higher than that. We're going to go through stages like initializing the AppLovin SDK. We're going to talk about banners. We're going to implement interstitials. We're going to add rewarded ads. We're going to monetize our app with MREC. We're going to take a look, see if it works, because it's the first time I'm trying it. And basically, we're going to be adding all these ads into my Unity project in hopefully 10 minutes and under, maybe a little bit over. But either way, then we'll check out some CPM, app love and offers, and mediation. So let's get started right away with the Unit plugin. So open up your Unity Hub. Let's change screens there. We're going to look for the app that we are using. I'm going to be using an existing one, App Love and Stats. Once we're in and it loads, we will then right click and I will leave a link in the description to the SDK. This is basically a file you got to download and then you're going to import custom package, go to your downloads and it's called App Love and Max Unity 5.1 SDK. We're going to import it. Once that is done, you have to make sure Jetifier is enabled. So to do that, go to Assets, go to External Dependency Manager, Android Resolver. Let's go to Settings, and at near the bottom, you will see Use Jetifier. Make sure it is checked. Mine is. And you should be ready to go. First things first, you will see this new App Love and tab. Let's click it. Go on Integration Manager. And you will see this up, upgrade if you need to upgrade. If you don't, you're fine. These are for mediation networks that you could add later. But the one thing you got to do is enable Max Ad Review. And you will need your SDK key. If you click this, it will take you straight to your account page with the keys. And you could see your SDK key. So once you type in your SDK key, that is pretty much it. Close this. And now we need to initialize the SDK. How to initialize the SDK? That's easy. So if you go to my description, you will find a link there with my scripts. You will find three scripts. There will be an add script, an interstitial script, and a rewarded script. First, we're going to be de dealing with the add script. So download the script into your computer, and we're going to bring it into our scripts folder. Once we do that, you will see a script is called. Let's open it up because you will need to switch some things out here. First thing you need to get is your keys. So if you go to your AppLove and Max account and you go to your account and you search for all your keys, which you will also find here, if you go into Integration Manager and you go to here, to this link, you will see all your keys, so keep that open. Now, if we go to ads, <clears throat> you will see a batter, banner add unit ID. And you will also see an SDK key, so make sure this SDK key is the same as the one in your account. And the banner add unit ID, make sure this is the same banner add unit of your app which will appear after you call this SDK. So once you call this SDK, it will send a signal to the app love and servers. And shortly after you will see your banner ad units that you could create, etc., etc. You type in your bad banner, banner ad unit ID. And you could find that. Let me just show you guys. So if you go here, under your max and under add units here, you will see your add unit ID here for all your different apps. So here's the add unit ID for the banner. So you just copy that, put it in here, and this should deal with your banner. Save it, and you gotta attach it to an object. So I made an object called ads, and I just attached my ads there. That will take care of initializing the SDK and loading your banner ad. So if we press play now, 
you will see that you will see a banner ad load as soon as the SDK is initialized, and there it is. Now, I want to load interstitial ads, but not on this scene. I want to change scenes. So I'm going to go over to my test ad scene. And as you can see, I got a banner here, interstitial and rewarded. So when I click the interstitial button, I want to show an interstitial. And when I click the rewarded button, I want to show a rewarded button. For that, we're going to go into our scripts. And if you downloaded the package, you will also have an interstitial script and a rewarded script. So I'm going to drag the interstitial script over to the ads. And you will see it here. And let's open the interstitial script. And there's one thing you got to change in your interstitial script. And that is this add unit ID. You could also go over this. These are on listeners. So you could see I will show the interstitial once it is loaded. You could change this according to what you want, etc., etc. Um, besides that, you need to change your add unit ID to the same accounts, the same page I just showed you for the interstitial this time. And once you click the button, it will show an interstitial. Now the same thing you got to do with the rewarded. If you downloaded the rewarded, you will see you have an add unit ID. And upon clicking the button, it should automatically load the rewarded if you use this script or you could arrange it in any way you want. So if we click play here, the banner will not show. However, if the interstitial, if we click the interstitial, you will see that the interstitial ad shows and it shows you the, the ad unit ID and the rewarded ad does the same thing. And obviously you could add listeners to reward your users when they click and grant them rewards. Um, but besides that, that's how to get a quick interstitial and rewarded working. Now let's try to add actually. Anyways, guys, for CPM with AppLovin, you're looking at about, let me show you my performance in 30 days. It's not that great but I had a CPM of about $2 to $10 on a good day, I'd say. Uh, mind you, my, my apps aren't that popular, but my CPM was about $2 to $10 for app loving. I also don't have that much mediation, so I could expect lower or even higher depending. Anyways, guys, that was it for this video. Uh, next, I don't know if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments what you suggest the next video be for what ad network and if this worked for you and if it didn't. And if you know how to fix the MREC ads, guys, let me know about that too. Uh, that's it for now. Till the next one, please subscribe, like, comment, check the description for all links you need related to AppLovin and this video. And if you want to see this app for yourself, and check your app loving stats that's why i created this app to check my stats for app loving so check it out in the link that's it till the next one guys cheers